Hi, in this video, I will give you some insights on debugging Shopware. If Shopware is operated in production mode, in most cases, only general messages are issued, which do not necessarily allow you to identify the cause of an error. There are some possibilities to identify the cause of the error. Often it is necessary to know the time at which an error was reported and that the error conditions are reproducible. So let's start with the event logs in the admin. You can find the event logs under settings, system, and then the module event logs. If an error has occurred, the event log may contain entries that allow you to narrow down the cause. In the respective message, you will find the note failed or the word error. So you can view the complete message by clicking on the context menu. This is, uh, yeah, you can do this by using the, the three dots at the back here. Just click on view details then, or you can click on the link of the contents column. So after that, this pop-up appears um, and you can get the whole log information about the yeah, respective error message. Um, these messages are helpful if the error is caused, for example, by the email dispatch, a shipping method, incomplete data in the product, and so on. So let's come to the storage location of the Shopware log files. The log files created by Shopware are stored in the var log directory. I'll go there to show you the prod logs. So just open the var log. And then you'll see all the prod logs. Um, so if production mode is activated in the env local file, only serious error messages are logged in the prod log. If the developer or debug mode is active, uh, the log entries are written to the def log. So since all messages are stored here, uh, this mode should only be activated if targeted debugging is necessary to avoid a large increase in log file size. In the shopware logs, the error type and information about the program in which the error occurred are output. You can see the different log or prod logs from the different dates here. Um, yeah, just go into this or these files to output some of the error messages. In this directory, you will not only find the shopware log files, but also the log files of your extensions, such as PayPal. But please note that not every extension automatically creates log files. So if in doubt, it's just best to contact the extension manufacturer directly. You can find the env local file on the web server in the shopware main directory. So here is the env local file. Um, please note that files whose file name begins with dot are hidden by default and it is maybe necessary to show them via a program setting depending on the directory call. So let's go into the file. This is the env local file and down here you'll find the app env data which is at product or production mode at the moment. After you have changed and saved the file, it is important that you clear the cache again. So now I went to the storefront and here we have a normal 404 error page. This is what it looks like in the storefront when an error occurs. In most cases, we need more information for debugging in order to find a solution for the problem. So that's what def mode is for. Instead of the normal 404 page, in def mode, the following page is displayed. So now in the storefront, the mode can lead to a detailed error message being displayed instead of the shop page, partly because errors from the framework are now also listed. We therefore recommend either activating the developer mode only for the respective debugging process or creating a test system for the evolution. Nevertheless, even in a test system, it is necessary to keep an eye on the size of the def log as the file grows 
uh, relatively quickly and many editors can now or can no longer open files uh, the size of a gigabyte. It is important that you change the mode in the files again, as the dev log page in the storefront is, of course, also available for your customers. So this could then have a very deterrent effect for the customers. Finally, just one more thing about further shopware independent log files. In addition to the log files provided by shopware, it can be helpful or required to look into the access logs of the server or also into the PHP log files. Since the location of these log files can vary depending on the server configuration, just contact your hoster on information where to find these.